Hello, my name is Steve. I'm a musician, and today I'll be listening for the very first time to a song called A Hunger in Your Haunt by Biffy Claro. I love me some Biffy Claro, so I'm excited, and go! It's a surprising little gap they put in that section. The glass is not half full, it's not half empty. Instead it lays half fucked upon the floor. <laughs> nice lyric. Reason has gone, purpose has gone. All this guarantees the fucking I don't think they've had a guitar tone like this before, it's cool. We bring nothing in. We'll take nothing with us when we need. That's almost like a classic metal guitar tone. Surprising for them. How does he play that and sing? Impressive. This is beautiful. I love a 6 8 time signature. Yeah, I got it that time. He's not really singing here, he's sort of speaking. It's quite hard to write that. Really nice melody here. It almost sounds like there's some string instruments backing this up. It's got that vibe, but I can't tell. Epic. Beautiful. Nice chord change. Harmonizing guitar lead. I love a whoa whoa. Come on. Imagine this in a crowd, everyone singing those whoa whoa's. Come on, it'd be great. Beautiful chords. Ooh. That bass line is really making that. It's hooking up those chords with connected notes. Fucking great. Voice. Stabbing guitars. Classic Biffy. Ah, oh, that bass tone is great. Mm. We're building up. This sounds like such old school Biffy, I love it. Like, living is a problem, that one. Cool. Yes, perfect place for the chorus to come back in. Beautiful little trail down. Ooh, lovely. Hey, come on. Great stuff. Biffy Clyro. They're great. They're consistently great. What a great song. And what was interesting about that is it had new sounds in there that I've not heard them use before. I did not, not normally hear them having that sort of classic metal-y sort of metal-y stuff, um, which normally I'm not really a big fan of, but there's something that they managed to do with that juxtaposed with their more like indie rock vibe. It was interesting, kind of worked. But they still also had their old school Biffy stabbing sort of uh, jaunty offbeat uh, moments which was cool, very much enjoyed that. And the more you listen to the song, the more you get used to that, the more you're like, yes, you know exactly where those punches are. Um, so that's enjoyable. Vocally, great. I tend not to like moments where singers kind of say words. <laughs> Sounds ridiculous, but rather than singing, like in the verses, he was kind of speaking them. Um, changing some pitch with it, but not really 
pitching with the key of the song. I'm not usually a fan of that, but he kept it to a minimal amount of time, so all good for me. Um, but some of those vocal deliveries of the actual melodies were gorgeous and brilliant and um, some great chord progressions chosen in there. The bass was doing a great job of connecting those two as well. It kind of, we were doing a bit of runs to and from some chords, which made it just sound connected and rhythmic and it flowed really nicely. So that was great. I love how consistently great this band are, but what's amazing is they do different things with each song. They don't have like a song they just uh, factory make and just do it again and again, like some other bands might be tempted to do. They keep doing something new, but they're such good musicians and songwriters that it's always solid. So far, at least. Hey, who knows what the future holds, but A Hunger in Your Haunt by Biffy Clyro. Thanks, Biffy, for the new song. I very much enjoyed that. That was a banger of sorts. <laughs> uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Maybe I'll see you watching another one. Bye for now.